What is up everyone? Welcome back to another episode of the Airware Workshop. And today what we're going to be doing is we're going to install a sound adapter. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so now for the boring explanation bit. This is a sound adapter. This was originally made by Richard Son um, and it was used on rotary aircraft and rotary engine aircrafts. Um, the whole concept of the rotary engine, specifically on the RX-8, is that it uses the oil that is in the oil sump to lubricate the apex seals. And that is, ends up being dirty oil. Um, so what the sound adapter does is you put it in between the oil metering pump and instead of actually using the oil from the sump, it uses oil from an external reservoir. And that oil from that uh, reservoir ends up being two-stroke oil, hence the concept of premix, because sometimes the oil metering pump fails or does not produce uh, enough lubrication, um, and the apex seals, you know, start, you know, getting worn out. Everything warps. You then end up having the famous engine rebuilt. So with the sun adapter, you eliminate the the whole aspect of the oil metering pump. You have a reservoir with two stroke oil or premix on it. You still have to premix the the engine uh, with by putting the two stroke oil in the fuel tank. But it allows you to actually use other types of oil apart from, for example, the mineral oil that is recommended for the RX site. So in this case, what I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using a more of a high performance oil and I want to have an external reservoir to be able to actually, you know, increase the legitimacy of the car. Now, if we go in again into the RX-8 or into the garage, a lot of companies actually make a kit that you remove your uh, water um, for your windshield wipers and you replace it with a smaller bottle and the reservoir for the, for the sun adapter. However, the oil midri pump is on this side and there's a big cable that has to go through over there. So it was originally made for the left hand, right hand drive, left hand drive, I don't know my left, my right, right from left, for a left hand drive car and the washer would be there, the washer liquid would be there and you'd move it there and then the, it's the, the path of least resistance. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to do something different. I'm going to build a reservoir and I'm going to put it here. Okay, so I made this makeshift box. And it's going to go here. So I need to move... Remember when I said this, this was temporary? It's because I want to shift this cable a little bit towards more closer to here so that this can stay here more towards the middle more closer to the actual ECU and I'm gonna fix it by cleaning these old battery box mounts and having it attached here and then will be an entry plug here and this side to connect to the sun adapter and going back to the garage you might be wondering what are these so this one is going to be a fill port. This one is going to be a little pipe for the for an air filter. For an air filter, because these boxes have to can be vacuum, can be like pressurized because otherwise it creates a vacuum, and therefore then the oil doesn't go into the sound adapter. So it will go here. This one will go here, and this one is for this. This is a sensor level, so it will go here and it will actually connect to one of the gauges in the RX-8 and it will give me actual accurate levels so I don't have to go and I'll pop up the hood and check every single time. I also have another another one of these that is going to go here so that the oil then flows through the sound adapter. So, yeah, so now that I have everything mocked up and measured, um, I um, just need to cut some aluminum and uh, aluminium and start fabbing. Let's get into it.
Okay, there it is, a little box. It needs some tweaking, um, you know, just some tightening here and there because there's a couple of gaps and so on. But I just put it with, you know, some painter's paint just so we can have a look how it looks in the car. No, not bad, not bad at all. Let's just keep it like this for a second. Yeah. That is the plan. So there it is, here's the box. Uh, it's not perfect, the welds are not perfect, but I only had two pinholes where air was coming out. So this box is proper sealed. What I need to do now is weld this bung here, and then, no, actually, this one's gonna go here, which is the one that goes into the sun adapter, and then do my holes here, and should be good. There you go. So this is for the cap fill for the fill cap. This one is for the air, so it doesn't create a vacuum. Now I just need to drill holes in the middle. Okay, and this is where it's gonna go. So I just need now to make a bracket to attach at the bottom of it and connect to one of this screw or maybe something on this side as well, maybe this one. So something to attach to these two and then something to attach here on this end because I'm going to clean this and drill it and then you'll have three points of contact and it should be fine. And it's elevated enough for the actual bung to connect to where the sun adapter is going to be. A few moments later. Okay, so I got a tab here and I got the tab here. All I need to do now is make a couple of holes here, make the holes here for the um, 
oil sensor, oil level sensor, and then clean this up and paint it. And this one is good to go into the car. It was a lot of work, but totally worth it. there you have it so this is going to go a little bit down but i haven't gone all the way because once i do it it'll never come out but yeah and uh fill cap uh oil level sensor and the airflow so the air filter so this is basically just a float when the oil is high this will float and give me a right level and uh, this will connect to a gauge so yeah, now put this on the car. Oh, actually, no, I need to tap these holes first so they can get screws in. But uh, after that, on to the car it goes. Okay, first things first, excuse for the mess on the desk. So this is how it's going to work here. This is the oil, as, as an ex explained here, or shown purposely in this cup, and the float floats in the oil. And here is the gauge. As you can see, if I move up, meaning that all goes down, there you go. And then if I refill it, so this way, I'll know exactly how much oil I have in the sun adapter tank. Okay, so I moved the car into the garage, and now what I need to do to install the sun adapter is I actually need to have access to this area, and that implies having to remove this hose. Um, which means I won't have to drain the coolant off the car. Also because I want to install a, a water temperature sensor, which is gonna go replace this piece of uh, piping. Um, I wouldn't have to do it anyway, so I'm just gonna do it all in one go. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, and here's the adapter that I'm gonna be using. It's a 38 mil, and I'm gonna use some liquid PTFE type, and here is the water the cool temperature sensor which will go here and then this it's gonna be hard to show on camera so basically this will go here replacing this pipe here this metal extension and then I just need to find a way to secure it properly to the car and that's basically it When using these, you just have to make sure that it doesn't actually block the 
flow of liquid, which is not the case here. Just actually take this screw off so I can have proper grip. Also, don't over tighten this because you're like introducing, you might introduce cracks to the actual aluminum or aluminum body. So just make sure you get tight, but not overly tight. And there you go. There it is. Now into the car it goes. All right, here it is. It was a lot harder than I thought. By the way, I had to get two clamps that are larger because it's just the original ones won't fit. But either way, it's not that bad. I like the way it looks. Now, remove this one so we can actually start working on the sound adapter. A few moments later. Okay, the OMP is out. It was a pain once again. Big impact <laughs> wrench actually came to the rescue so now what I need to do is I just need to start cleaning things up so I can then start putting my sound adapter okay sound adapter is in so basically what it does it acts as a sandwich plate between the old metering pump and the actual engine block for you to take it off there are three screws it's this one one on the opposite side and one towards the bottom. Now this one, you can access it from here. The other two, you're gonna have to go through the wheel well. Um, so the, the one at the top, basically opposite this one, you can access it through the wheel well, the one at the bottom. Either, if you have a very long extension with a swivel head, you can go through the wheel well, or you go from underneath the car. So now that this bit is done, I can actually start thinking about replugging back the the hoses and then start getting the placement for the sound adapter tank don't forget i also need to attach this because i don't want this to be flapping about when the engine moves and there you have it all plugged all connected now the only thing left is to put some oil in it so let's do it now it's also the best time to actually check for leaks There you have it. I had to do some minor adjustments because there are some kinks on the, on the piping, but now it's good. Bled out as well. All nice. I need to tuck in these wires because I'm not putting the gauges yet. But either way, so that's installed. Now I can put whatever type of oil I want, and that's literally going to be the new episode, the next episode. So uh, this was this was hard. Anyway, this is all for you guys today. So you know, next episode is all about oil. So you know the drill. Like, subscribe, hit me up in the comments, which you want to see next, and uh, I will see you on the next one. Take care.